he's going to ask for a sacrifice. But ladies and gentlemen, I want to ask to know the power behind sacrificial giving. Because everything, let me say this, many things of God are on the platform of sacrifice. The far you will go in this life, it is on the platform of sacrifice. Nobody goes far without sacrifice. Let me repeat again. Nobody goes far without sacrifice. I'm, I love, I'm a fan of football. And I was told, I listened to this young man, a man that can speak, and I can speak, and I can speak, wanyama manangu ya kibia mbio kabisa omanyala he said that for him to be where he is he has sacrificed a lot the far you will go it is by sacrifice the God we serve everything we do it is on the platform of sacrifice can you say amen now, number two, if you are writing now, God did it out of love. You cannot give sacrificial offering without love. The Bible says, and God loved the world. Hello? And God loved the world. That he gave his only son. Now, listen to this. Look up. Until you laugh, you cannot give. So, a sacrifice is on the platform of love. Muya, because you love your children, that's why you wake up early in the morning because you love them. Are we together, church? Are we together? So, you cannot wake up one morning and say, okay, I want to do this and this. No, you must understand that it is on the power of, of love. You first of all love, then you sacrifice. God himself, the Bible says, he loved, then he sacrificed. The Bible says, and so God loved the world that he gave his only son. So sacrifice is on the platform of love. If you don't love, you cannot sacrifice. Can I hear an amen? amen. Can I hear an amen? amen? Sacrificial giving is motivated by love. Sacrificial giving is motivated by love. I repeat again. Sacrificial giving is motivated by love. If you love somebody, you will give a desire. If you love somebody, you, miss, you will give. That's why when you love somebody, you will go out of your what is a man out of your what? Out of your way to do something for that person. Hello, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mana unampenda mutu, you will go out of your way to sacrifice for that person. Sai ukisikia kitu flani imefanyikia mama yako. Sai na uko Nairobi. Na imefanyikia Western for example. My friend, hata utalala. Tuongeni ukweli, utalala. For example, God forbid it will not happen because I'm on the water. Nothing can happen. But if something happens, even if it's the US, uskia mtoto wako, in the US mtoto wako, kitu flani kinye mfanyikia, what will you do? You will sacrifice to be there. Ah, church, bana. Let's have church, my friends. You will sacrifice to be there. Why? Because you love this person. So, sacrifice is on the platform of love. 
if you don't love, you cannot sacrifice. If you are struggling with sacrifice, it is a sign you don't love. But when you love, you will sacrifice. Can I hear an amen? amen? Can I hear an amen? amen? Number two, three or four, sacrifice is painful, very painful. I repeat again. Yes. Sacrifice is painful and very painful, but it opens doors. Sacrificial giving is very is very painful from your way. Look up. Sacrificial giving is painful. Using a metal more person in a marble. Near Pesa, and now I want to give and we back is a five thousand as the liberate the casket. No sacrifice, the liberate a man is sacrifice. The casket, my rent in kind, let me sacrifice for the kingdom. That's what we call sacrifice. Listen to this any poverty mind when he receives money, he sees the needs, but any mind of prosperity when it sees money it sees an opportunity to sow a seed or a sacrifice in the kingdom of god say hallelujah tell your neighbor sacrifice is painful uh, me, i know it is painful if you're writing down sacrifice turns impossibility to possibilities Sacrifice turns impossibilities to possibilities. Number six, when you find yourself in a difficult situation, sacrifice is the answer. And I will show you. Mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. When you find yourself in a very difficult situation, sacrifice is the answer. Let me show you in the Bible. There was a woman in the Bible. Elisha, listen to me carefully. Elisha, to me, she was mungu. Me fika mahali, ukame imengia. Elijah man Elisha, ukame imengia. The Bible in a sema, mungu akadiya to me she wake. Ni me amuricha mwa na muke akulise. I will mungu na e. God unanga uruma. Nimeamurisha mwanamke akulishe. Na saa hiyo njaa imeingia. Kuna ukame. Kuna njaa kama Kenya ukame imeingia. Mangombe zinakufa, vitu zinafanyika. Naye Mungu anazungumuza. Wakati wa ukame, please listen to me very careful. Wakati wa ukame, kuna ukame sana na Mungu bado anaongea. Anaambia Elisha mtumishi wangu wanamuke ni meamurisha akulise. Listen. Now the same same woman, she is in famine. Ako katika nja, katika ukame. Listen to this. Wakati kuna ukame sana, ni wakati wa sacrifice. Uja nisikia. Radrosi bretosi brakataya. Wakati kuna ukame sacrifice Bible in Asema in the book of Genesis chapter number 26 in Asema there was famine in the land and God told Isaac sow a seed in this season when there is famine sikianga sauti ya mungu wakati kunansha economical problems wakati biashara yako inapitia shake up hapo ndio wakati muya unachukua sacrifice unaitoa wakati kuna pesa usitoe sacrifice bwana toa wakati kuna ncha financially kwa mfuko umetumiwa 10000 na mahitaji yako ni ya 30000 hiyo 10000 it can be a seed for you to receive the 30000 Sikia, mandika anasema, mungu wakatokea mwanamuke, 
akatokea Elisha akamtuma akambe enda na akaenda akafika akapata mwanaume na mwanamke amekaa akamwambia woman what are you doing nashukuru Mungu mko na mtoto akamwambia woman praise the lord akamwambia amen akamwambia woman i want to eat the woman said i have only few to eat and i die with my child Elisha the man of god akamwambia okay akamwambia don't worry give me fast i eat in a to sacrifice Uh, uh, oh. The woman was representing the church. The man of God was representing God himself. There is famine and God is saying I want. Ai we Mungu naye unakaangaje? There is a lot of famine in Kenya and that's a time you are telling people to give sacrifice. God told him, Elijah to bring it. And he took after he ate. The Bible says what? And it will be from today. You shall never lack in this house. What? The power of sacrifice. Begia Yesu makofi kaunataka. 